Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing well by the grace of God. I would like to share something today in hopes that it will surely bless you. I was blessed hearing this and it is the application part of it that was very new and it is from a very familiar passage in Genesis 4 about Abel and Cain, of course, because both are part of that story. And Abel was also listed as heroes of faith in Hebrews chapter 11. And the most important thing that I wanted to highlight today from Hebrews chapter 11 on Abel is Abel's life is still speaking to us. That's the part. How is it speaking to us? For that, we need to go back to Genesis chapter 4, where both the brothers bring an offering to God. Abel brings an offering that is preserved because it is the firstborn of the flock. It is prepared because he got the fat out of that lamb to offer it to God. Cain just randomly picked something and went and offered. So, to understand this much better, let's use the illustration that is very well known to us, which we all practice from time to time. Giving gifts. It depends on who it is that we're buying the present for, how much are we willing to spend, and who is the person? Well, first and third one, same thing. Not just the gift, but how we package it, right? Sometimes we care about that part as well. Like, for example, at Christmas time, we want to put those presents under the tree or uh, just so that, for picture sake, <laughs> we we wrap the gifts in gift wrapping paper not just any random thing right we buy seasonal wrapping paper gift wrapping paper even for birthdays what do we do something that says it's a birthday or a celebration for graduation it's a different packaging for an anniversary it's a different gift bag or an an a different packaging right some people make it so beautiful with those ribbons and a tag and even the quality of the gift bag is different. And also uh, bows or bows on the gift bag and uh, ribbons and just so many ways we can do it, right? There is a lesson in that. If we are giving a gift to someone very important, high up, or a, like a VIP, okay, a VIP, what do we do? We make sure the gift is thoughtful, useful, it's good quality, right? And, uh, and the wrapping part of it also. That's exactly what Abel did. The offering that he wanted to offer to God, he preserved it because the firstborn of the flock is for the Lord. And the fat portions are most desirable offerings. So he prepared the lamb. That means he didn't just go pick up some random lamb and just it, it's not unprepared lots of preparation and planning okay one simple application of that is when we go to the house of god on sundays it is so much better and time saving um to prepare our clothes for sunday the night before some of us already are doing that, so hats off to you. <laughs> um, 
okay that's one thing and uh, that's just a side application but the main application part is what are we giving to god how much of an honor are we willing to give to god he is the god who laid down his life for us for our salvation for so that we can have eternal life our eternity is blessed because of jesus imagine how honorable of a person and a, and the only god he is he's the lord and master he's our everything he sustains us every day he feeds us cares for us leads us guides us goes before us helps us restores us protects us gives us wisdom gives us what to say to who and when and how feeds us he does everything for us and so to give an offering to god on sundays when the offering plate is passed are we giving it as a tip at a restaurant to a waitress or a waiter or are we giving a gift that is worthy of our savior the gift illustration helps us understand god is so much more higher and important than any person on this earth and we don't even have the privilege to go meet the president of the united states not the current president but whoever it is a very honorable president and imagine when we get an invite what sort of a present we might take or let's not even go there cuz the probability of that happening is very low so let's just think about the ceo of our company where we work for or the pastor of our church someone higher up in your life very respectable honorable person if you want to go meet that person how much do you prepare your clothes the gift what do you want to say how would you say all of that right so the gift that you give reflects how much honor you are giving to that person so abel's offering is preserved for the offering prepared for the offering and has been regarded accepted more acceptable suitable to god god was pleased with that we are not even required to offer any monetary gifts all god is asking us to have a broken and a contrite spirit broken heart and a contrite spirit and worship him in spirit and in truth so just understand examine reflect on what you're doing and how you're giving what you're giving to god i hope this will help us to understand what we are giving how we are giving when we are giving and to who it is that we are giving cheerful heart willingness a desire to invest in the kingdom of god you all might think oh i don't know where to give who to give what my church does with that don't worry about it god sees your heart what happens with that money whoever is responsible to put that to good use is accountable to god but your reward for giving the honorable gift to god is not dependent on what is happening with that money that is a good lesson for all of us we giving to god our time talents and treasure in a way that is worthy acceptable regarded by god is the ultimate goal i hope this blesses you thank you for allowing me to share these things with you 
Thank you for your comments. Thank you for the feedback. Thank you for your willingness to listen and hear. Thank you so much. God bless. Bye.